Good evening, hockey boy here. Uh, as I said in my previous video, this one we're going to briefly go over my setup, what I've got, um, the spec, bits and pieces like that, what I'm looking to get in the not too distant future. Um, I also like some input as well in the comment section down below um, on what you guys think. I'll throw out some recommendations of what I'm looking to buy to uh, obviously enhance your viewing pleasure and also to add to my. Uh, set up so I've actually just broken my tripod so um, I apologise if the video gets a bit shaky I've, uh, I'm going to have to go and order a new one tomorrow it's only a cheap shitty one off eBay but yeah I'll have to invest in a slightly better one um, so we'll start with um, I'll tell you what we'll start with we'll have a look at what the room looks like in the dark because it looks pretty sick that is what my setup looks like in the dark that's the best thing about Alienware, everything has its own colour setting. So uh, you can see my uh, my dual screens there and my Area 51 underneath the desktop. The good old uh, Alienware 15 laptop, which you guys will know I've had for just about a year now. Uh, I've got the Razer set up, basically. I've got the mouse, I've got the, uh, the Black Widow keyboard. You see that the WSD in blue there, so it's good for me to go in the dark. The mouse mouth set to breathing, um, we will, I will customise all the colours, I mean, I've got a thing for blue and green at the moment, but I want to get all hulky boy colours, so we're having the, the green hulk colour. But yeah, it looks pretty, uh, looks pretty sick in the dark, to be honest, so um, yeah, we'll put the lights back on and I'll just quickly go through everything we've got. So we'll start off with what everyone knows, like I said, I apologise if the video is shaky, I'm not using the tripod, I'm just carrying it around. Uh, the Alienware Area 51, as you well know, uh, 16 gig of RAM, i7, 4710HQ, 2.5 quad processor. Um, it's got a 256 gigabyte SSD and a one terabyte data drive, which you can see there. I have also got the amplifier, which is uh, hidden away here behind my monitors, out the way, so it's not too loud. Um, we've got, well, we've got the Vindicator backpack down there as well, so I can take it to work with me. I've got dual HD Asus screens, a lot of Razor Edge ones. Um, all I can say is, since I've swapped to dual screen monitors, I, I don't know how I've, I managed to live without them. It's brilliant, because you can literally stream on one, you can game on the other, YouTube on one, while you game, it's, it's brilliant. So I always I would always recommend now to get dual screens if you can if you can stretch them. We've got, like I said, the uh, I need to sort the cables out. They're an absolute mess. I know, so uh, we'll get around to that at some point. Yeah, the Area Fifty One, um, my newest addition to the uh, setup. I haven't really scratched the surface on what this can do and, and tried it and tested it out. But I'll just quickly go through the spec here for you. It is uh, an Intel i seven fifty eight twenty K three point three gigahertz Haswell processor. So there's six cores. Uh, 32 gig of RAM and it's got a 500 gigabyte SSD drive and a 4 terabyte data drive. Dual screens, man, love it. Ooh. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's a lovely bit of kit. I haven't tried any rendering on it yet. I may do some rendering on the new videos on it, but I have, as you can see, I'm starting to do a bit of, uh, bit of gaming on there. Uh, which moves me on to the Razer Black Widow keyboard. Um, I must say, even though it's quite expensive, it's about £100 or £150 thereabouts, but it is, if you can just hear that, it's like a full mechanical keyboard. You can customise every single light on it to be a different colour. I mean, I've just done the WSD, like I said, in blue. So when I'm gaming, it's easier for me to do it in the dark. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's, even, uh, there's even like... Um, certain things you can run, like I've seen ones where they have snowing so it looks like the snowflakes are dropping down the keyboard, it, you really can just go <laughs> as far as you want. Um, moving on, we've got the Razer, I think it's the Black Widow mouse as well, pretty standard. Like I said, I've just left it on the basic, I haven't tried anything else with the colours on there, but it's it's very sensitive and I, you know, I've got no complaints of it yet to be honest. Um, the Razer mouse mat as well, I think that was about 50 quid, I got it a bit cheaper from work, but uh, I've just left that on a breathing setting there with green, but you can you can do it reactive, so as you're moving the mouse around it lights up and goes down, you can play around the settings on that, but I, I can go into that in further detail if anyone wishes me to do so. Um, 
that pretty much sums up what I've got as a setup at the moment. I mean, I'll let you know what I'm looking to do would be to be, uh, there's a few things after. I mean, the next thing would be a proper gaming chair. I've just got a basic bitch uh, leather chair that I've had for a couple of years. So I've been looking for some gaming chairs. So if anyone can recommend anything that's not going to break the bank that looks pretty sick. I mean, I've looked at a couple that have, you know, the black and green um, gaming chairs. Literally just Google it and there's a load of them come up. So they they do start from about 150 upwards so they're not too cheap but uh that'll be the next purchase off the list i reckon um i'm also in the market for a decent headset if anyone can recommend because the one i'm using as you can see over there is absolutely archaic um <laughs> so yeah we're looking for a looking for a decent replacement for that let me just swap the camera around for you guys my girlfriend keeps messaging me wait me a second I broke my fucking tripod. Bloody tripod, we're on the piss a bit. Yeah, so like I was saying, I'm looking to get a standalone mic, um, a decent headset with a with a stand. I like the look on the with the stand. I'm also going to get some lighting put in at the back, so we're going to get some nice green rope lighting and, and bits and pieces on there as well. So we're probably about 80% there. There's a few little bits and pieces I want to get. I said I've also got a green screen, which is stashed over there in a box, which you can't see yet, but we should be using it for, for Twitch and bits and pieces so we can dick around with the background. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you guys have got any questions, I said I'm, I'm looking to do some bits and pieces, some reviews on some of the hardware I've recently purchased. I haven't had a lot of time to, to get to used to get used to it. The Razer mouse and keyboard, the mat, everything, like I said, I've literally just plugged it in and played with it and... and got straight into it so I'll have a look at some of the features on there um, but yeah we're just gonna keep this one quite short just to let you know what what we're, what I'm, uh, bleh, what we're uh, rocking with at the moment I would love to get now I've got the TI card I'd love to get a, a wall mounted 4k monitor above the two months I've got so that'd be pretty sick um, but yeah I mean I'm open to suggestions really I mean this this would just be finishing off the setup really like I said the the headset, the microphone, perhaps another monitor, the lighting in the back, behind the monitors and under the desk, and uh, a decent gaming chair, and I think we're pretty much there. But um, I'm up for suggestions, guys. If you can recommend anything, I'm 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 up for I'm up for giving it a go. So uh, don't forget to uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like it, subscribe if you haven't already. I do appreciate all the support. As usual. Social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, hit me up on them. I'll, I'll do my best to reply to everyone on there. It's always good to have a bit of a laugh on the social medias. But uh, yes, next video, uh, I'm hoping to get Tomb Raider done for you. Pretty sharpish. Um, also, I know that the 1080 cards are coming out. I've got no designs on getting hold of one just yet. I mean, I think they retail about 600 quid, which is just ridiculous. I know they're better. They're going to be better than the, the TI cards and stuff, but... That it would be it's redundant for me to get one because I'm running I'm rocking 1080p screens I haven't even got a 4K screen so I think the TI is going to be more more than adequate for now but yeah who knows maybe I can get a TI and get uh, some SLI action going on but uh, we'll see what we'll see what comes up and uh, if we do get the follow in then yeah it's going to go back into hardware so we'll see what happens see you in a bit guys.